Wow, this performance. Diane Kruger gives a powerful performance as a wife and mother who loses her husband and son in a bomb attack in the suspense drama In the Fade. Now, Diane won Best Actress at Cannes Film Festival. Welcome. Hi, Diane. Hi. Right, so you, I, no wonder you won. Good <laughs> Lord, that was, I mean, just that little bit was like my heart was pounding. Yeah, it's a powerful film about people that have to live with the aftermath of a terrorist attack. And it's really a movie about grief. Um, you know, she loses everything and her journey trying to figure out how you can live with something like this. So can you even live with something like this? Yeah. What did you do to prepare for a role like this? It took a long time. For about six months um, leading up, I met with a lot of families that uh, are victims. And not just terrorism, but brutal murder. Um, and you know, it, it, it's something I'll never forget. Over six months meeting a lot of self-help groups, being allowed to sit in and really just listen, you know, mm -hmm. all the different stages of grief. Um, it's, it's changed me as a person, and it's a powerful film because I think n we don't talk enough about people that stay behind. We hear a lot about the victims and about the killers and their motivations. Mm -hmm. But the families that have to live with this, you know, what happens a month later, two months, a year, a ten year? years, yeah. you know, yeah. forever. Yeah. Was there, was there a moment where it became almost too real for you? I mean, I know at one point you even had to, to in order to kind of cope with some of the things you were dealing with on filming, you started smoking. I mean, oh it, yeah, it, like it was a... heavy into smoking. And <laughs> <the> smoke. <laughs> Took a long time to get that, rid of that. Right? You know? Yeah. I mean, w were, there, were there points where you were like, this is almost too much? It was. Um, it, it wasn't an overall pleasant experience. I, I did feel like I was drowning, <laughs> you know, in grief and just, um, you know, you, you also, I carry the stories with me. You know, I wanted to be as truthful as I can be. Um, to what I had witnessed and was allowed to witness with those families. And, and they had this acute awareness of trying to be as authentic as I could be. And you were also able to speak in German? Yeah. Was that like with going back all, the, all these years? It was. I left 25 years ago. You know, I started to feel like a, a stranger in my own country. So it kind of reconnected me with my, my roots mm -hmm. and the culture. It was kind of cool. Did your parents like that? Were they like, okay, here we go, back to our oh, German yeah. roots. Like, here yeah. we go, my daughter's made it. She's finally made it. My mom was really happy. I'm from close to where we shot. We shot in Hamburg, so I, I was able to go home on weekends and stuff. It was pretty cool. In the middle of shooting this, or I don't know if it was around this time, but you also lost your stepdad. Yeah. What was the mindset of what you were going through personally, yourself, while shooting this? You know, it was horrible because it was an unexpected death. Um, and, you know, I really grew up with him. Um, he, he and my mom were together for 25 years. And so, mm. you know, in, in, a, in a sense, it was awful because coming home, I had to obviously deal with my mom and seeing her go through this. So it did feel like I was drowning. And yet at the same time, you know, I was home. Like, that never happens. Like, I, what if I would have been shooting a film in America? I wouldn't have been able to come home and be there for her. And it kind of reconnected us. Yeah. Um, what are the chances of that, that you're just, shooting a film yeah. over there? Yeah. We were just talking about, funny how life works sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. Now, you, you have a, tell me your full German name. Because, <laughs> like, it's like a... It's, it's Heidkrüger. Diana Heidkrüger is how you say it in German. Heidkrüger. I know, which is like Diana nobody Heidkrüger. can ever <laughs> pronounce it. Trust I me. like that. Right. I like that. <laughs> how did you, when the film was over, how did you sort of get back to normal and feeling like you? Because I heard you wouldn't take roles or even look at anything for a long time. Yeah, I couldn't. I was really depressed. You know, also the, the family situation having to deal with us just before the holidays. Um, I took a lot, of, a long time off. Um, I went away with my mom, which we hadn't done in 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, we went on vacation together. I moved. It's just, you know, like living life again and just um, not being light, you know, being with my friends. But I, I felt like I couldn't work. You know, yeah. I wasn't ready. But then you, the, the film shows at Cannes, and yeah. you win. I know. Right? Best Thank actress. You. I mean, it had to, not only for you, the work that you did, but the stories of people like this who deal with this, it had to be like a, a win for them as well, right? Yeah, it felt kind of, um, it was very emotional because two days before the movie screened, Manchester happened. Oh, wow. And because of this film and with the preparation, I am so acutely aware of. Um, how many Katyas, like my, name, my, my character's name is Katya in the film, were created just 48 hours prior to me, you know, being rewarded for a performance. So it weighed heavily on me, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Did you watch the screening for the first time alone in a theater? I read that. Don't know if it's correct. The first time you saw it? I saw it in the cutting room only 10 days before Ken, because uh, we, you know, we finished just before the holidays, so he edited really quickly. It was 15 minutes longer. So I was really stressed out walking up the steps to Cannes. Nobody had seen it with an audience, and um, I'm sure you've been to Cannes. No one had seen it with an audience? No. And Cannes was the first time? Yeah, and you know, <laughs> I've been in those screenings where when people don't like it, they're very vocal yeah. about that. You're like, I'm here! So. <laughs>